In this video, I will show how to gain a huge speed up in your 2D Godot games, and I will also quickly show how to profile your own Godot game so that you can find this kind of optimizations yourself. This game is an online action party game called A Good Day. We want to make it run on PC and smartphone, so it has to run very efficiently. Let's try it on an old PC. The first thing to do when you're profiling your game is to try the embedded profiler in Godot. It shows you which of your script functions take a long time, but it can show you the time spent inside of Godot Engine's own functions. There's documentation on how to profile the engine. Let's do exactly what it says. Let's install a profiler and let's compile Godot with the debug symbols option. Here's the game running on an old PC. So as you can see, the FPS on the top is pretty low. So we are going to try to run very sleepy the profiler on it. We select a good day. We let it run for a few seconds for it to gather information. Let's run around and then we can stop its analysis. Okay, now we have a bunch of functions and the time that they take, so we can filter the modules to our game. And then we can select the main function as a root for our analysis. And as you can see, now that we've sorted our functions by the time that they take, we can see that there's this render canvas item functions that takes the most time. Here's the corresponding function in the Godot source code. I will not get into the logic of the function, which is complex, of course, but at the start of the function, there's this check whether the canvas item is visible or not, and if it's not, then we we'll return immediately from the function. So for our optimization, we'll simply try to have the most canvas item as possible go into this line and return at the start of the function. So could the optimization really be that simple? Well, let's try with this simple test where we have Node2D nodes that don't do anything. They are just present in the scene. We also set up a label node just to display the number of FPS. To simulate a large scene in our script, we will duplicate the number of nodes to a few thousands. When running the scene, we can see that the FPS is low. And what is curious is that if we run the scene again, but this time hiding the node to the nodes, the FPS is much, much higher. What is happening is that even though those node 2D are not displayed by the renderer, it still has to check all these nodes to see if they should be rendered. So that takes a long time. But of course, if anywhere in the tree a node is not visible, then the rule is that all of its children are also not visible, so that optimizes a lot. Still, I was pretty sure that there was an optimization in Godot where things that are outside of the screen are not rendered and that gains a lot of compute time. Let's do a second experiment showing that behavior. In this scene, I have a sprite that is duplicated a lot of time and I also have two cameras one that sees the sprite and one that doesn't. So the automatic optimization works. When the sprite is displayed, the FPS is lower than when it is not. But as you can see, our own by hand optimization of hiding sprites is still much better. Of course, sometimes we want sprite to really be displayed. So what we're going to do is use the visibility notifier to the nodes to notify us when a node is inside or outside of the screen so that we can turn on or off its visibility. It would be pretty crazy if this would work, right? Because we're using a visibility notifier to toggle the visibility of our node. Well, luckily, the visibility notifier uses a totally different algorithm from the renderer to know if we're inside or outside the screen. So let's try it. So of course, when we're on camera one, our sprites are displayed, so the number of FPS is still the same as before. But when we switch camera to camera two, our visibility notifier notifies us that the sprites are not on screen and we disable their visibility. 
and we can see that we obtain a pretty huge gain in FPS. Now let's get back to our game. We'll add a visibility notifier to all of our maps entities. And this visibility notifier will be able to toggle the visibility of the root node here. So from under 20 FPS at the start of the video, we are now over 30 on my very old PC. So while it's not perfectly smooth 60 FPS, it's still a crazy gain. That's it for today. Remember to hide the nodes that you don't use and try visibility notifiers if you use large maps. Try to profile your own game to find your optimizations, maybe share them. If you like the video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. See you next time!